What's up guys, this is Shana and today we're going to check out River Park at Bangsa South. But, show you need first. Let's go. Okay, first of all, let's get our location right. This is Federal Highway and this is the NPE Highway. So this project of River Park is located in between these two at the intersection very strategic so when you come in from federal highway there will be a branch that connects to mpe in the future the developer will build a branch in to the project directly number two angkasa puri ktm station it's within two to three hundred meters walking distance in the future there will be an access as well then another access would be from npe coming in from kl eco city there will be a small branch under the bridge so in one glance it's rather confusing but once you stay into the project as a resident you will slowly familiarize yourself but what i like personally because being adjacent to the highway cs yes, it connects you to kl eco city it connects you to bangsa south and mid valley as a local person i still like this local road that connects in to old clang road and on this far end will be puchong here will be Old Clang Road and there will be all the local stuff, the food, the amenities and etc. And what's cool about the KTM station, it's one station away from KL Eco City, then two stations away from KL Central and that connects you to Mid Valley as well. So if your office is within these blocks and if you don't want to take the car, the KTM station is an option for you then after you come in from the local road after you branch out from npe right this is a 5.1 acres leasehold residential title building in total there will be three blocks one three three two units and in first glance i thought it was <laughs> Park Sky from Bukit Jalil. It's actually from the same developer, therefore the language is the same. And the typologies are also the same. You can see the ground floor. Treatments are pretty similar. Elevated car parks and the residential tower. So what they do as well, which is good in their previous project, the facilities are all very compact within the transfer floor. I guess it's going to look pretty similar. Then coming in from the road, this will be the assess patterns into the site itself if you're coming from this way another way will be directly from mpe highway and because of the height issue they need to build another drop off right you can see that there's this direct drop off before the users actually go into mpe highway and just something to point out because it's so close to both the highways as well as the ktm station it's very hard to avoid the noise so something to anticipate would be the windows treatments of your unit because all these are still facing them and that will make the difference if you are staying in here then behind the highway i like that they position all the facilities the main active areas at the back which is way more quiet way more serene and that includes the gym and the fitness center as well all face the river and there will be a buffer away from the river then this will be a Ruma Whip development part of this. But they will have their very own individual facilities and access and things like that. Mid Valley here, Chaos Eagle City here, Bangsa South will be there. And this will be the project. I like that every block will have their very own drop off and lobby. And it's a decorated one. So if you have seen again the reference to the previous project, they will have one main entrance and it will link to the rest where all of them will have individual checkpoints and that's great for security. Then if you were to look into the standard floor layout, there will be 12 units in total sharing four lifts in the center so what's cool is you can see there will be two units at the back here which is way more private the unit that we're going to check out today will be type b 1180 square feet three bedroom two bathroom and when you come into the entrance you have this very long kitchen and there will be a partition possibility here dining area living and the balcony right so this splits the bedrooms all together the principal bedroom here with its ensuite and then you have bedroom 2 and bedroom 3 sharing the common bathroom and the usual problem for this will be the privacy issue but let's go check it out so 
So coming in to the entrance, there will be a setting like this for the foyer and it's good so no one actually has visibility into the unit directly. And once you come in, this will be the main door and this will be your unit. Immediately you will be in the public area where your dining is here, your living is here and straight away you have access to your dry kitchen. This is so open. But in one glance you have this open field. Going in, this will be the dry kitchen and you have another extended space for your wet kitchen if you want to. And just now, as we were saying just now, this is a perfect opportunity for partition if you like heavy cooking, right? This kitchen has a very nice width and these will be provided by the developer, the top and bottom cabinets. Basin by Tika and you have a cool and hot by Alba itself, including all these cabinets. So that's very, very convenient. The possible space for your fridge and connecting that will be a yard space for you to put in your washing machine. Then at the edge will be your aircon latch. Nice. And because the kitchen is located at the back, they included an extra window on top of the door for better ventilation and daylighting into the space itself. That's very very nice and this scale of kitchen is huge for an apartment of this size. And moving into the dry kitchen, this is where you can prepare drinks or host your family members. You can even put in a breakfast counter here if you want to. But this will be the suggested layout. Lah. whole project, the current selling price is around 660 per square feet. In reality, this unit is around six to 700,000 depending on which floor. But I think the main selling point for this project itself would be the location. And location here means the distance away from the main commercial area. So just think about Mid Valley, KL Eco City and Bangsa South, the amount that sheer amount of office indirectly also means the opportunity for jobs. Well, you can also see it as a lifestyle hub. Plus. It's also the same distance away from the shopping mall and the same distance away from Bangsa Talawi and Bangsa South night activities, lah, right? So it depends on really how you see it. And coming from the dining, this living space is huge. So the ceiling height will be around 3 meters and from wall to wall, you look at this scale. Wow, and you also will have your very own balcony. And for type B, which is like the private ones in the floor layout, the orientation would be facing the river in the back. That's good. So the living room will be splitting the bedrooms on both sides. Let's check out the two smaller bedrooms first. And these two rooms will be sharing this common bathroom. And we can see this is by GBH. And the WC is also by GBH. Full high wall tile, shower screen, and you have a window for ventilation. And do always check with the salesperson on the specification, like what will be provided exactly if you're interested in the project. Then on the left will be one bedroom here. So for design purposes, they made this into like a study or a single bedroom. But due to the restrictions of the building itself, they cannot show you the window. In actual fact, there will be an angled window here. Again, this unit of type B has access to more openings just because it's somewhat like a bungalow in the sky going opposite this will be the second bedroom and this has more access to daylight but the windows are not full height and it's actually fine so here you also have opportunities to build a bench that somewhat be that day bed or that bay window design here you have a queen size bed you can still have bedside tables and a lot of space for circulation even after putting in the wardrobe so that's good also air cons will be provided nice then moving over to the principal bedroom the center space will be using tiles also for their skirtings and the issue with doors around here is if you have guests indirectly you will have visual access every time this door is open but just walking through the layouts right the width the height the window design and even the facade seriously reminds me of their project at the park in Bukit Jaya which is the one next to Pavilion, Park Sky and Park 2 and it makes sense because of their success there everything sold out so they are trying to continue their success over here if you have a formula that works why not proceed with it right so what you can observe here it's the distance from the bed to the principal bathroom you have such a big space and this will be the wardrobe. And again, after putting in 
the king size bed, bedside tables, there's still a lot of circulation space. It's so big, you can even squeeze in a desk and still have 600 for your circulation. <laughs> and if not mistaken, I think this would be an angled window as well. Yes, it is. So with such design, your vista or perspective actually enhanced by a little. So imagine that being a window as well. So when you open up everything, phew. Then moving into the principal bathroom, it's pretty similar full height wall house. And you have GBH or WC, then you have GBH for the basic. Then for their shower area, you will have a compartment like this and this instant water heater will be provided as well. But again, always check with the sales staff just in case they change and there'll be a window for ventilation. Pretty direct. And I guess that's all for the unit layout. It's very spacious, like there are a lot of circulation space and the scale of things are amazing. Anyway now, let's go check out the site because I'm trying to figure out the accessibility and all. Let's go. And now, we are at site. So this is currently the raw condition of the site. So now we are back in another day and this is the site condition right now. We are in between three main roads, Old Klang Road, Federal Highway and NPE. From NPE, there will be a branch coming to the site. And if you come from Old Klang Road, there will be a traffic light junction. You will drive through this narrow road. At first, it will be rather confusing. So something to point out will be the entrance experience when you come into the site. Wow. So that's always great news when you see a lot of work on site, things are taking place. The entrance experience, you need to drive through the PPR projects around site and if you look around, there's a very beautiful park. However, adjacent to that will be all the PPR flats. Again, located next to the KTM station, it's going to be pretty noisy. So now it depends whether do you need the KTM connection. And I guess that's all for the site. Let's find somewhere safe to do the Sean Stick tree on tree. And now we are located right at the entrance from the Old Clang Road Junction. And here you will have third mile square for your commercial needs. This seems to be the nearest one within proximity, but you still need to drive up. This seems to be the very attractive point here. You look at this art mural kind of thing going on. Pretty cool. And you have the Vivo complex as well, where it's a mixed development. So for the three things I really like, number one will be the connectivity, definitely because it's in between main roads Old Klang Road, MPE Highway, Federal Highway especially if you work around a CBD right it's excellent and that brings you so close to main commercial spaces such as Bangsa South, KL Eco City, Mid Valley from Federal Highway it brings you to PJ pretty solid then the second thing I like will be the developer's reputation for design if you have checked out Park Residence we have checked out Park 2 in Bukit Jalil this is pretty much similar. The DNA of it is actually the same. Therefore, I'm pretty confident in the common areas the unit layouts are great, especially the corner ones. It's somewhat like a semi in air. Oh, that's nice. And the last thing will be the price in comparison to the surrounding. Sharing the same road, you can actually compare to KL Eco City or you can compare to Sepute on the other side because of its current site condition. Developer also take all those into account resulting in a price that is not too bad. Then for the three things I don't like, number one will be the micro site elements. So the first one will be the pylons next to it. It's going to be the divider between the Ruma whip with the actual project itself. Then you have the KTM track. Yes, it adds convenience but it's pretty noisy and that goes the same with the highways. Also the PPR that's next to the site. Then the next thing I don't like will be the end entrance experience as you need to drive through the PPR projects. You will see a lot of garai garai, a lot of cars 
as these projects usually are overpopulated, somewhat the car park can be resolved or should be resolved by the new car park structure. You know, Malaysians always park roadside, so that will be part of the entrance into the site itself. That's beyond the developer's jurisdiction, unfortunately. And last but not least will be the surrounding competition. So if you look across the river in Old Clang Road, you have a lot of other apartment projects. Newly completed, upcoming, pre-launch, a lot, right? On the other side, you have the Bangsa South. Then you have the KL Sapute side. A lot of competition. But that also somewhat indicates the demand for space around this area. We have the high numbers of job opportunities. Lah. So here will be a lot of offices. Therefore, you will need a lot of temporary housing. And I guess that's all for this episode. So shout out to my ex-housemate. <laughs> it's always cool to have insiders. You get first-hand news all the time. Do I like the location? Yes, but you need to take into account on the existing site profiles, which includes all the micro elements that we mentioned just now. Lah. And I guess that's all. If you really like this episode, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Tan. Ciao.